Cura. In this video I'm going to show you how to use Acrobat DC to simply edit PDF files. Quite often we have files which have tick boxes, uh, sections that we need to write in, sections when we need to draw lines through. Uh, Acrobat DC is a quick and easy way of creating those forms. On my desktop I've already downloaded the staff leave form which is found on SharePoint. Right click on it and select Open with Adobe Acrobat DC. This brings up the form, which is our familiar school leave form. Previously, what you would do is you'd print off the form and you'd fill it in. What you do here is you click on Tools. And over here, you can see Fill and Sign. It's also at the side here. So I'm going to click on Fill and Sign. And this changes the top of the document. You can see that I've got this symbol here, which means write text. This one, which means add a cross. This one is add a tick. This one is add a circle, add a line, add a dot, and finally sign. So let's assume that I was going on leave. I just make sure that my add text is selected, and then I just click. So I'm going to type my name. I then want to follow the instructions on the form. So it says position, circle. So I select circle, and I click. Now this isn't big enough, so I use the sides here and enlarge it. I can also move it so it matches. I request leave. Again, it wants a circle with or without pay. So I'm going to click on with pay. And that has remembered the setting I had before. To do the dates, I click on this. And let's imagine a date. Nature of leave requested. Let's imagine that this is school business. Uh, reason. I don't need to charge an account number, there's no invoice either, and then there's a place for signing. On my form, you can see that I have my name here. This is because um, this is using my own account, which I've, I've paid for. Um, so you might not be able to use this sign function. Um, if you did manage to do it, you're able to sign your signature either on a touch screen or on a tablet, or just add your initials. And then you bring it in, resize it, reposition, and put the date. So today's date is the 7th. What you can then do is click on the cross here, and it will lock the form. So all the things I need to do have been completed. Now with the version of Adobe Acrobat that we have in school, we can't send this for signing by other staff because we don't have any of the cloud functions of Adobe Acrobat DC. However, you can still print this off and certainly there are plenty of other forms that you can use this for, for example, teacher registration. Anything where someone has sent you a form which is as a PDF, you can complete it.